we use UN extensively to systematically document uh, the internet censorship uh, and other internet uh, manipulation that has happened in Venezuela in the past. And UNI has been very useful to my work in a sense of understanding the extent of internet censorship in my country and also in my region. UNI has been uh, very um, great for the work we do. As you know, that we track internet shutdowns across the country. Um, UNI became uh, one of the key partners on the project, helping uh, with measurements in the country. It's been really kind of eye-opening, but also useful to understand what kind of censorship is being implemented in Azerbaijan, uh, whether it's platform-based or website-based. UNI has become a household name, if I'm allowed to say, in the sense that a lot of people do run tests whenever they experience disruptions or slowness in uh, platforms like social media. What UNI has really helped us to do is to document that. Uh, one such instance was during the farmers' protest when we were unsure if there's an, it's a complete internet shutdown or if it's throttling. So we did ask a few people present on the field to uh, download the app and use it. And uh, we did, like, the results were did help us figure a couple of things out. So that's been great. Uh, yeah, it's actually very useful in, in a way that like uh, we have, uh, we can actually show the hard evidence, right, of the uh, interception or uh, uh, some website cannot be uh, accessed in, in, in Thailand. It doesn't mean that uh, it got censored. Uh, it maybe it just because like the website is just down, for example, right? So uh, we just ask around like what happens uh, from other other countries, right? But it's it's not not a system. Uh, first, it's it's not very systematic, right? The second, it's it's not that very automated, right? So Uni uh, helped us a lot in that regard. I wrote a report uh, on Gutenberg.org um, that has been blocked uh, since a while now here in Italy. It required um, some uh, data analysis works uh, that I have been able to um, perform on my own uh, thanks to the APIs uh, um, available on the Uni Explorer. I was studying how Crimea, after it was annexed by Russia, uh, was actually facing a harsh internet censorship. And we found actually that uh, there were very different patterns and Crimea was blocking much more, much stricter, like sometimes 60 or 70 percent more than in uh, Russia. So it looked like this was a laboratory of internet censorship and Crimea was used like a place where Russia could test their um, uh, internet sovereign project, you know, like a playground for them. Uni helped. Without Uni, I would not be able to do it. The data I get from Uni has been able to help me understand how uh, the internet space is in my country, uh, particularly pertaining to the blocking of uh, the censorship of websites and throttling, which is something that has been ongoing since we had a a shutdown in 2018. People in Tanzania benefited from UNI. We did collaborate with UNI to put together very brief, um, easy steps about how to download UNI, install it, and also um, run tests and also share it with people. And people tend to share these um, tools. And in the end, we could see a big and large community of people that had become familiar with UNI, that were running UNI tests um, when the internet was indeed um, disrupted um, during the elections in, in 2020. During my fieldwork in Ukraine, when I was researching censorship, uh, I actually could share UNI app with some existing human rights organizations. So uh, this organization is called Crimean Human Rights Group, and they did several reports about uh, censorship in Crimea based on UNI data. And these reports were included in official reports uh, to the United Nations and to the Ukrainian government. So UNI got uh, really appreciated by Ukrainian civil society. Last year, on December 2021, uh, we started to receive some user requests on our user support channels saying, hey, I'm trying to use Tor, but Tor is not working for me. And surprisingly, we start to see a lot of uh, uh, anomalies on UNI Explorer. 
So we saw uh, uh, some uh, results of kind of turning blockade. And that was a new situation. We didn't, uh, we were not expecting that uh, in Russia. Uh, and so we start to analyze and start to investigate what was happening. So I think it is very important uh, to have to empower users to understand how the government is blocking their connection, what kind of modifications on internet traffic they are doing, and especially for Tor, because then we can say, oh, there is a censorship happening here. You need to use a Tor bridge. Because censorship is what you experience physically, personally. When you open your laptop or mobile phone, you cannot access a website, you feel something. And in this sense, all remote testing apps, all kind of distance testing, it's much less objective than a community that is testing things by themselves with the Uni app. Uh, when I was a regional director at Siphon, uh, at that time, my team extensively used Uni probes to verify censored media outlets in a um, number of countries like Turkey, China, Middle East and the former Soviet Union countries so that we can determine what uh, independent or critical media voices are silenced as well as human rights organizations and then we would outreach to those in order to offer them uh, censorship circumvention technologies like our product at the time Siphon VPN. Uh, which at the end resulted of uh, granting undisrupted access to the internet to hundreds of thousands of users in those countries, probably even millions. It's very common for us to ask people like, do you know what is internet censorship? Do you know that the government can block the internet? And many people, sometimes they don't understand how that's possible. And having any information is very, is amazing to tell them like, hey, do this what actually is happening on the internet. I think uh, Uni uh, can grow, uh, becoming uh, more integrated um, and involving people um, with no uh, technical background. Popularization of tools and educational materials. That's what I think uh, would be the next major step because for me as a researcher uh, all the tools are on the table so researchers uh, have wonderful spectrum of those and they just get to know uh, and learn about uh, the uni tools uh, so that they can generate uh, more robust research and uh, what i would love to see uni do like like you know uh, something called a like a disruptions test which means that uh, you know uh, if we could know if internet has been disrupted in some area or if it's been throttled in some area i would like to see uni um get more into uh understanding the disparities between um uh the different countries and how this how uh internet internet space in general has been uh, manipulated i think that in the future, uh, it would be important to have uh, more diversity in the types of tests available in Uni. I want to see Uni go bigger uh, than it's, it is today. Um, I want to see more support for Uni. I want um, the global community to continue to support um, such an important tool and resource so that we can continue to run and measure and document internet disruptions and hold authorities accountable for disrupting these um, essential tools that contribute to people's fundamental rights, such as freedom of expression and access to information. In looking forward for, for, like, for the project, I would like to see more folks using UNI, like, because UNI means like uh, you we are checking the internet freedom uh from the very sort of first moment that you meet you sit down you you, you understand immediately that your values align that you want the same things and you strive for the same things my only wish for uni is to keep shining uh and keep helping um us uh, partners uh, that they work with i really like what uni has been doing with the usability side of things, uh, for me, uh, you are an example 
of what should be done with the community, with the people, and how a really useful and usable app can be built together. So uh, thank you for all the great work that you have been doing and the support that you have been giving to all the uni users in the world. So I'm really very uh, excited to see what, all the work that uni did, the uni team did in the past years. Uni, we love you like this, right? So keep experimenting and innovating. You do this, then great. Thank you.